It's 7.44 a.m. on November 16th, 2019. Okay, this is what I remember from <clears throat> last night as far as dreams go. I did have dreams, but most of them disappeared. Um, I wasn't able to write them down. So all I got down was... Um, Sometime, sometime after 9 p.m., I got a dream of being on a vehicle like a van linked to Heather Hunt. Okay, and after that, uh, shortly after that, idea of hospital and my dad's family. Um, every time... My, almost every time my dad's family members come up in these dreams linked with hospitals, the dreams get erased and all I'm just left with is something like this. However, I do feel like I've gotten a sense of something from other sources. Um, anyway, uh, well, I'm not going to get into that now. Then, let's see. Image of... Um, I just read 1116, so it must be after midnight. Image of me riding in an ambulance, and then these letters R-O-S. Then 5.31 a.m. Image of a leaf-like textured glass bowl viewed from above. Now, I feel like I've seen a bowl like this somewhere, but I don't know exactly where. And I have one similar, but it's not leaf, so I'll show it. So it's this type of textured glass bowl. This is one that I use that I got from the Dollar Tree. But the it's like it looks like it's made out of leaves. Leaf pattern. Okay, now this, okay, this one here and then this one here in particular, this one's very interesting. It... I was not fully asleep. I was, you know, half asleep. And so what happened was I got an image of me holding a cat in a similar manner to how the little red-haired girl holds the cat in the Charlie Brown comic. So she kind of has this cat dangling from her arm a lot of the time. And as soon as that image came to me simultaneously in real life, Chris, who's lying next to me, Let's go this weird, long exhale, and he's making this noise like air is being squeezed out of him. It was really weird. And so it it seemed to go along with the image because the way she's holding that cat, it could be the cat could have a hard time breathing because it's just dangled over her arm. And um, this is not the first time I've seen Chris's breathing be affected in ways that either go along with my dreams or else they go along with me. Like all of a sudden I will have some sort of breathing effect and he has the same kind along with it. But this time it was paired with that image. Now, when I was, I was going through my journals yesterday um, and looking for different things and I came across an entry from 2018 where I had a dream where Chris died and he died by having the air squeezed out of him or the air caressed out of him was the worrying. And um, I'm going to, oh, there's there's a lot linked to this. Um, so after that happened, I mean, months later, we started ha both having these breathing issues together. Um, and I've been experiencing attacks to my heart going back to, I've recorded them back to 2017. They usually are paired with my back pain to let me know, I think, as a whistleblowing technique that this, it is implant-related. It's from the same source as my back pain. But in Chris's case, it, it got worse and worse, and it ended up as heart failure. Now, I just found something else about this. So I'm uploading <clears throat> some of my ph photographic evidence of, of different types of either, you know, implants that show underneath my skin or um, different types of you know, skin conditions caused by directed energy attacks. And I saw I had this. Looks like I wrote it on March 25th, 2018. And it was about this incident of back pain that I had. And while I was walking to the hospital, I saw this red wig, a curly... Oh, that's maybe why I had that, that image of the little red-haired girl. Okay, so I... 
I'm going to do a different video about this because I can have, it's better for me to do short videos right now. But I was walking to the hospital with back pain, right, severe back pain, and I noticed a long curly red wig hanging over a one-hour parking sign creating a possible link to... So I think it's a possible link to the death scene of Gareth Williams, which involved a red wig also. I also used to sometimes have dreams of myself wearing a red wig. Um, so I, I mentioned at the end of this, in the 24-hour period before my cat Lion died, which was my cat Lion died on April 3rd, 2018. So it was, you know, a little more than a week later. Um, at, she experienced breathing problems similar to those experienced by Chris and to a less, lesser extent me this year, indicative, I thought, at the time of congestive heart failure. I now realize her body was being externally controlled. Um, and, yeah, there's just no doubt in my mind. And, you know, she died at precisely, you know, 4.33 a.m. on 4.3.18 And she, it looked like, it looked like when you saw in Star Wars, Darth Vader remotely strangling somebody, that's what she looked like right before she died. She looked incredibly distressed and like she was just, she looked like she was being killed. 